Good morning, people. Um, this is uh, Edward King. That's my real name. And um, I. Um, it's interesting. I'm not looking as disheveled as I was uh, yesterday morning. Uh, I, I'm, not, I'm not really sure why. I didn't comb my hair again. I just slept as I uh, usually do. Anyway, um, hmm. Must have slept well. <laughs> Haven't even had my coffee yet. But uh, I'm doing this deliberately. It's an experiment. Not having my coffee when I first wake up in the morning. Just kind of holding off on it a little. After yesterday, I thought I'd try this. Uh, I want to talk about um, a very controversial subject. I just want to try to touch as briefly upon it as I can and uh, because I've spent a lot of time studying it, reading much literature on this subject and uh, uh, living with it um, to a large extent here in uh, northern Canada, uh, I, I would just like to uh, briefly broach this subject and, uh, and, and hold it up because I I think so many people are, are actually uh, misusing uh, the term I'm about to set forth here and uh, I'd like to cut through a little confusion uh, on this matter. Um, the, the word is race and I don't like the way this word is being used. Okay, um, Different things are, are different, different words We'll say words, okay? I'm going to, because I'd like to focus on this word. Different words mean different things to different people. And, and this is largely why we have so much confusion in our language, not just the English language, all sorts of languages, because different words mean different things to different people. And as a result, confusion sets in. And the language gets confused, and for lack of a better term, I would say adulterated. And so uh, many confrontations are generated through a lack of understanding because people are not on the same page. And this is largely due to the fact that those words mean different things to them. Uh, like the word piety, for instance. Piety can can mean somebody who is uh, uh, affectatiously pretending to be uh, holy and uh, 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 you know uh, carrying a sense of self superiority or by another definition which is practically uh, the antithesis of the first it can mean somebody who is uh, um, really devout and very religious and uh, very uh, uh, um, humble. <laughs> they're, they're, they're practically antonyms of each other and yet they are the two definitions, two definitions for the same word. Uh, one definition almost being the antonym of the other. Now come on, how ridiculous is that? Well that's what's happening with our language. Um, if the word race is to be used correctly, okay, um, the only way that the word race can be used correctly is to denote the human race. In other words, as opposed to the uh, um, Martian race from from you know uh, the planet Mars, uh, the, the human race, and who and who knows, you know, maybe maybe uh, there can be a human race on Mars too, but. Uh, that's what I'm saying uh, concerning the word race because the word race has been so distorted and so bent out of shape and, and, and that, it, that it really doesn't have any true defini definition. It doesn't hold any definition. And um, there's a reason for that, <clears throat> I think. Because, I mean, think of the word race. It's, it, the word race itself implies a competition. All right. Um, you know, on your mark, get set, go. But the thing is, is that we've all, as human beings, have been going and going and going, and we've all been running around and around the globe here, everybody taking everyone else's land, 
uh, that it, to the point where it's not even a stolen land anymore. It's a stolen planet. You know, we've, we've been all over. So, where, where does the word race come into play? I mean seriously. Does, does it come into play on um, skin color? Uh, I'd, I'd like to say not. I'd like to say not because I mean, you know, people call me white. You know what? I'm not white. And, and, and I'll tell you something. I, 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 I don't consider that a very flattering comment because seriously, let's look at white here. Let's put a piece, white piece of paper here. If your skin color is the same color as this white piece of paper here that I'm holding alongside my face, you need to see a doctor pronto. Um, in fact, it's a miracle you're alive because uh, I don't know where the blood went. I, I don't know where your pigment went. I don't know where your protection went. But obviously, you, you need serious help if, if this is your skin color. Uh, likewise, okay? Uh, okay, I'll, I'll use my Bible here. Okay? Black. Black. I, I, I'll tell you straight out. I have never seen anybody with skin this color okay I've seen people with skin that comes very very close because it's so dark right but I've never seen anyone with truly black skin and and this even this this uh, my Bible here this isn't truly black because it's reflecting light and true black doesn't reflect light a true uh, black is it, it can't reflect light because the color cannot reflect light because black predominantly is the absence of, of, of uh, color and so what it does is it absorbs all light frequencies okay but like like a black hole for example that's how dark uh, uh, black really is okay it just absorbs energy um, now um, dark colors tend to absorb uh, light frequencies and uh, so they're more absorbent all right. Um, lighter colors tend to reflect light frequencies. Okay, so they're lighter. That's what makes them lighter. Um, uh, so the color issue, I, I didn't want to spend too much time on, because um, obviously people have different skin colors. But now we're attributing these features to what we call race, and I'm. I can't put it plainer. There, 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 there are, there's only one race. It's the human race. And uh, these people calling themselves black or white need to get their heads examined. They need to really, really examine themselves, you know, carefully and see that they're neither. You know, and it's really important to understand that because not... It's confusion and it isn't honest for anyone to call themselves black or white. There it is. It's not honest. It's not accurate. And it is confusing our language. And by confusing our language, we confuse our children. You know, um, there is no black. There is no white in, in the human race. Because a black person would probably be in as much trouble as a white person would be if, if, if this were so. And uh, that they would both seriously need to see a doctor. I'd be surprised if they were even alive. That's how serious it is. It, it just doesn't exist. These conditions don't exist. And by pretending that they do, we're messing ourselves up. We're messing our, our, our thought processes up. But, okay, that's my, my position. And uh, maybe I'll spend some more time on it uh, another time when I have time. Thank you for watching.